Hey guys, Ash Moore, 4 H product assistant in Craig County Extension Service. Um, if you still have your little water shooter that you picked up from uh, Stone on Wednesday, we're going to use it again. Um, I'm sporting my handy dandy little tie dye t shirt we made. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Today, we're going to tie dye beach towels. Um, for this little activity, you need your water starter. You need some food coloring again, some duct tape. I'm sporting the whole uh, tiger lion, cheetah, it's, it's funky looking stuff, um, zebra, that works too, um, and of course your tap. Okay, first things first is you want to mix up your food coloring in your water. I've already got mine mixed up here. So we're going to let that get settled in, and then you want to think up some genius design to put on your tap. Um, I'm going to kind of keep mine just a little simple so that we can kind of roll on with it today. Uh, I'm going to do 4-H. So you want to find the center of your towel, which will be in your fold, and I'm going to go along with that. Okay. Put your duct tape out there, make sure you smooth it down real good, and then we're going to cut it off. Mash it down. That's going to keep your color from hitting that white part. Okay. Mash it down real good. Alright, move on to my H. With my zebra print duct tape. If you guys uh, haven't already, please take a picture of your tie dye t shirts and post it on our website. Curry County Extension Service. We look forward to seeing all your videos and your pictures. Alright, now, got your tape on there, mash it down real good, make sure no color gets underneath it, got your color mixed up, got your water shooter, now we're ready to get messy. Um, FYI, let's put us a tablecloth down, make sure we're doing this outside. Okay, get your color ready, and pull it up. Once again, the more the merrier. And then just squirt it everywhere. Except on yourself, anyway. Um, once again, if you are using multiple colors, let's make sure that we um, use all the coloring that we have inside our water shooter before we pull up anymore. That way we're not blending all these colors together. Make sure you get it real good around the edges of your duct tape. That's going to reinforce whatever design that you put on there. I'm going to splatter my edges so it kind of looks like paint splatter.
I hope you guys are having just as much fun with these Wednesday bags as I am. I'm like a kid at kindergarten camp. Okay, there's my first one. Now, all my color is out of my water shooter. I'm going to move on to my second color. Would you look at that? Just look at that. Tell you what, I'm gonna challenge somebody. I would love to see a camouflage tab. I'm not sure why Crayola hasn't made a camouflage color yet. And make sure you get real good around the edges of your duct tape. That's going to make that white stand out real good. Also, on the if you do um, a heavy layer of color versus just a lighter layer of color, you're going to see the difference in, so you see it darker here on the purple where it says lighter here. That's going to give you a different variation in color as well. Okay, now I'm going to take my color on the opposite side. I'm going to do a border. And there you go. After you have your towel good and designed, you got all the color on it that you want. We're going to leave it outside to dry overnight. Um, and then you want to, once you make sure that it is dry, then you can um, carefully remove the uh, duct tape from your towel. And first of all, I am going to recommend that you wash it by itself in cold water. Um, and then have fun, go crazy with it. Um, lay on the beach, use it at this pool. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy. Thank you very much. Make sure you like, share, and comment. McCrory County Extension Service. Thanks, guys.